Hey guys, it's Jenna and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my five days of Korean sunscreens. If you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also give this video a like. Um, if this is, you know, you're just kind of catching in at this stage of the game, I recently did a Korean sunscreen haul where I bought five Korean sunscreens I've never tried and I decided to do a five days of Korean sunscreens where I can try them out for you guys and talk a little bit about each one, give a demonstration of what it looks like on the skin. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. <music> All right guys, so the sunscreen that we're gonna be talking about today is by a brand called Thank You Farmer and it is their Sun Project Water Sun Cream. It's formulated with SPF 50 and getting a little fancy, it has African walnut oil, Inca omega oil, and bamboo extracts, which are supposed to help keep your skin nice and hydrated all day long. It also has aloe leaf extract, hollyhock root, and something called phyto oligo, which is a patented anti-inflammatory that's supposed to really help soothe skin and also be great for your moisture barrier. This SPF 50 is a water-based hybrid sunscreen, so it does contain, contain both chemical and physical components. Um, and just checking in on the website here, it says this product is not tested on animals. It's free of artificial colors, animal products, parabens, and mineral oil. Um, this retails for, let's see here, $23 for 1.4 fluid ounces, which is 40 milliliters. So um, that is a little bit less sunscreen than you would get with a normal sunscreen. And the price point is pretty high. That's um, a little over $16 per fluid ounce. So that is expensive. I will say the description of this does sound pretty fancy. So, um, you know, it's not supposed to leave a white cast. It's not supposed to be sticky. Um, it has some kind of cool ingredients in it. So I'm excited to open this up and try it out. So I just want to show you guys the box up close. This is a um, broad spectrum. It's an SPF 50 and it's a PA++++. There's the back. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. And it's a really cute um, kind of pearlized blue bottle. Um, you know, hence the water sun cream. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It almost has like a little bit of an iridescence to it. So it is, you know, relative to my face, as you can see, it's 1.4 fluid ounces. So it is a pretty small bottle. Let's go ahead now and open this up. It's a squeezy tube and it has a little protector on it that I'm gonna peel off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze this in my hand. Okay. Let's see, let's put that cap back on. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of feel, it definitely is, I mean, it's a cream, but it's, I mean, it's much thinner than like an actual cream would be. And again, this is, so it doesn't, it has like a little bit of a sunscreen smell, but I would say next to no smell. Yep, you can smell it in just a second, honey. It has, um, it's maybe like a little bit of like a florally sunscreen smell, but again, it's very, very faint. Wow. And that legitimately leaves absolutely no white cast. Okay, just a second, honey. That literally just rubbed right into my skin. I will say it definitely absorbed right into my skin. So, you know, sometimes with sunscreens, you can kind of feel like they're sitting on top of your skin. This, that's really interesting. It really feels like I put a moisturizer on my skin that like immediately absorbed. It's giving me a really pretty sheen. And if you guys, um, are used to my channel you will know i really like this kind of a sheen i think that radiant skin just looks so healthy so this is looking really pretty let me just wash that off my hands and then i'll grab the camera <clears throat> and zoom in yeah i can't believe <clears throat> excuse me i can't believe how fast that just absorbed into my skin so 
this is what it's looking like. So seriously, no, no white cast whatsoever. No, you can smell it in just a second. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do, just like I did yesterday, is I'm going to let it sit on my skin for about 20 minutes and come back and give you guys a little update to see, you know, if anything has changed whatsoever. All right. Hey guys, I am back. So it has been 20 minutes now that this has been sitting on my skin. And I have to say, I am obsessed with this sunscreen. I can't recommend it enough. However, just because it is so expensive, I feel like this might be something that I wear, you know, on like a day when I'm going to go out and I'm going to be wearing makeup and it's just as kind of, you know, like a bougie sunscreen that you can wear um, underneath your makeup. Or if, you know, money is no object to you, you can purchase this and wear it as your normal sunscreen. It is beautiful on the skin, absorbs immediately, literally feels like you're not wearing a sunscreen, has next to no scent, and the scent that it does have, I think, smells really good. Um, and again, it's got that beautiful sheen that it leaves, but in the last 20 minutes, it also, the sheen has sort of um, calmed down maybe just a little bit but I just think the finish and just how it feels is absolutely gorgeous. So again, this is the Korean sunscreen by the brand uh, Thank You Farmer, and it is their Sun Project Water Sun Cream SPF 50. Um, so for sure, highly recommend. Again, it's a hybrid water-based formula, so it's got both physical and chemical components, um, but it also has, you know, some calming ingredients in it. So, um, and because I am a tretinone user, I would say that this should be just fine for sensitive skin. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed this sunscreen review. Um, subscribe to this channel and you guys can see the rest of the five days of the Korean sunscreen. I also do lots of other updates on skincare products, makeup, and then also my home life as a stay-at-home mom. Um, there will be some decorating stuff here to come up. So thanks everyone for tuning in and until tomorrow, I hope everyone's doing great and I'll talk to you all soon.